We've seen, as you know, a number of structure fires in our area over the last several weeks, and the causes vary. WCBI's Parker King talks to a longtime firefighter who has seen devastating blazes take lives and destroy property. He joins us in the studio now with that story. That's right. You're probably getting tired of us hearing us say it over and over again. Get a smoke detector, have your electric checked, and be careful where you put your space heaters and so on. But it take it from a man who's been sounding off to the sirens for over 50 years and see if his advice convinces you to take a look around your home and see if it's safe from a potential fire. His name is Robert Goza. Back in the 60s, Houston already had a paid fire department. But Robert Goza and several others felt the city needed a little more help. We needed something in Houston because it was just hit and miss up during that time in fighting fires. And if you heard the siren go off, you went. If you wanted to, if you didn't want to, you didn't go. So in 64, Goza and around 30 others organized the Houston Volunteer Fire Department. First thing we got was telephones, you know, about five telephones. And then, and then the ones that had a telephone were called other people. That's how we got started. This winter, Northeast Mississippi has been dotted with fully involved structure fires. Houston itself hasn't been hit, but it's still something Goza says is it normal? Not for us, it's not. Of course, we didn't have a structure fire during the real cold water, thank goodness. But uh, for us, we have our biggest fire in the summertime. He offers simple advice on how people can keep their homes from potentially becoming a complete loss. Well, the main thing is keep it clean. <laughs> no, we have a bunch of stuff laying around, you know. And uh, check your heating every so often, you know, make sure it's all working right. And main thing, have a smoke detector in your house. Recruiting for departments all over can be a struggle. And Goza says it's because these days, not many people want to fight fires without pay. But with time, people step up to take the reins and carry on the tradition of volunteer civic duty. We're always trying to recruit young men. And right now, we have several young men on the department that's doing a real good job. In Houston, Parker King, WCBI News. Goza understands what he says is only advice, but working in a business longer than most people have been alive may hold some weight to it and keep your house from catching on fire. Andrea? All right.